Hey guys, MJ675 here, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the 31090 Underwater Robot Creator 3-in-1 set. This set retails for $19.99 in the United States and contains 207 pieces, so let's get into the reviews first, taking a look at the box of the set. So this is the box, the main model is right here, and you have your two other models right here which if they include instructions, I'll be taking a look at all the models that you can build from this set. Taking a look at the top of the box, you can see the pictures of the models again, and then a picture of a piece here. And it's kind of interesting because the underwater robot is giving a thumbs up in this picture. So, that, so that's kind of neat. Here at the bottom, we have pretty standard stuff. Nothing really out of the ordinary there. Again, on the side, very similar. Nothing out of the ordinary here either. And then on the other side, we do have the name of the set translated into some other languages, you know, warnings, I think there's only the side but components being made and distribution information, so right there, and another picture of the set right there. Then if we were to take a look at the back of this box, you can see all the models kind of in a bit more detail, doing some different tasks and stuff like that, and the tape, which is responsible for keeping the box closed. So that has been a look at the box of this set. So. I do not have any problems with the box, I think that it is a fine box, so now I'm going to open this set. Included in the set is the box, three instruction manuals, one for each model, and three unnumbered bags of pieces here. And additionally, you do have three of these tubes just loose in the box, which are not in any sort of bag or anything. But with that out of the way, that's what you get in this set, so now let's take a look at the instruction manuals. Alright, so now we'll take a look at the instruction manuals for this set. First we'll start with this first one here, and I'll just put these other ones down on sort of the table here so that they aren't falling over anything. So this is for the main model, you can see the digital building instructions, QR code right here. Warning, and that's also on another one of the instruction booklets, but we'll get to that. First page, pretty much, just the sort your pieces thing. Um, so, there you go, and then here's again another advertisement for digital building instructions, and then you get right into the building, so let's go to the end of this to see what's going on at the end of the instruction booklet. So, here's the last page of this model, then you get to another advertisement for LEGO Life, another advertisement, this time though for creator sets of various kinds, so there you go. And on the back here you have the LEGO product feedback survey thing, so that is the first instruction booklet for the main build of this set. So now we'll take a look at the second instruction booklet, which is for the second model of this set. Again, we see the choking hazard warning returning, and these instruction manuals, if you can tell, they're a little, a little bit bent, but they're not really secured in the box by anything, besides the box being closed, so that's expectable. Right into building instructions from here, so we'll just jump all the way to the end of this one. Alright, so you have another LEGO Life ad, the same creator ad, these are just the same two ads that are on the other booklet, and then we do have the sets parts list right here, spanning two whole pages, and then on the back you have yet another advertisement for these two combined sets together, which is the sea creatures and the underwater robot, which is what we're going to be looking at today in this video. And then the last of the three instruction manuals is for this little thing here. Again, warning returns here. Um, these two pages are stuck together interestingly, so I think I'm just going to have to tear them, which is not preferable, but there we go. Right into the building instructions straight out of the gate from there, so if we to continue to flip onwards, um, this is the last of the instructions, and then right on the back is that same creator advertisement that we've been seeing a lot of. So overall, those are the three instruction manuals. Each one is for each of the different models you can build in this set. And to be honest, um, I like when they do this because it just makes it a bit easier to have the different instructions for each model. But at the same time, all the instructions are bent. So not really a big fan of that, but other than that, these are more or less fine. There's not, there wasn't really anything out of the ordinary besides those two pages being stuck together, which isn't the worst thing in the world. I could just tear them a little bit and then it would be all good to go. So overall, not really any major complaints. Obviously, you can flatten these out to get rid of the bending, which is something I will do after I'm done filming this video. But yeah, so I'm going to start by building this first model here in the speed build. And yeah, then we'll take a look at that.
Alright, so here are the extra pieces from this first build. You get an extra one of these large tube pieces, but you also do get all of these other pieces here. Um, the ones that stand out to me are just this large tube, this sort of horn or drill piece, and this stud with a hole in it as well as this black spike. But overall, not a bad selection here. As far as the building experience went, it was pretty simple, and I didn't really struggle with finding any pieces or anything like that. So now let's take a look at the first build from this set. Alright, so this particular build has two smaller builds, which we'll be taking a look at first. First, you do get this little plant or seaweed with some gold next to it, and you also do get this manta ray, um, which you can angle sort of the flaps on the manta ray if you really want to. I just like to keep them down at the side. You can also angle the tail. The tail has two points of articulation, one at the, where it meets the body and one where it meets sort of the spike end. And overall, I think that the manta ray and this little build, well, well, this one's not much, I think it's well done. And the manta ray, I do like quite a lot because it's nice, simple, and it gets the image of a manta ray across quite nicely. So now let's take a look at the main build from this particular build, which, as you can see, is this giant little underwater <laughs> robot thing. So when we take a look at this, as far as the different angles go, here is the robot from a bunch of different angles so that you can really see what's going on here with this robot. So as far as play features are concerned, you do have posable limbs and we'll start with the legs. The legs have two points of articulation, one where the legs meet the body and one where the leg meets the foot. So you can rotate, no, we're, not, we're not looking at that yet, but you can rotate these out like this. You can also rotate them this way as well and as far as the ankle you can rotate it up around as well and you can rotate it up and down so that works on both of these legs so you can get a few different interesting poses out of this guy you can do all sorts of crazy stuff like something like this even works so 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 far it seems to be good for balance and posing um, but we'll move on to the rest of what's going on here um, moving up the body a little bit, if I tilt it like this, you can see that we also have another point of rotation here at the center of the body, which is nice so that you can rotate this guy around to get whatever he needs to accomplish done. So that's pretty neat. Um, before we touch really the top head part, I'm going to take a look at his arms. Both of these arms have two points of articulation again, where the arm meets the body and where the arm meets whatever hand you have. Um, the hands are both connected with ball joints, but these are connected with just these ratcheting joints. Um, this is just a standard sort of hand. That's really all it does. You can move each of the fingers in to grab stuff. Um, just don't move them in too much or you'll pop off the fingers, at least on the two front fingers. Um, so just be careful about that, but you can, you can grab things like if you have the extra one of this tube handy, which does come in the set. <laughs> I'm assuming for another build, but you do have another one of these, so you can hold on to that, and it works quite nicely. So now he has a little staff or something, so that's pretty neat. Overall, that's that's pretty nice. You also do have this other hand, which has a drill in the middle here, presumably for maybe getting some gold off this thing, and it also does have some claws so that you can grab stuff like that. And on the box, and really, in mainly just the box, but it kind of shows you being able to grab it, grab these gold pieces, just kind of like this, just getting four points of contact around there, and as you can see, you can do that. Um, I'm not sure how well it'll work when we try to ratchet this joint. Uh, it might fall off. Yep, there you go. Not, not the best hold as you can see, but you can probably pose it to the point where it would hold this in place if you didn't move it. So again that's pretty cool um, I do like that feature and then kind of the last main thing from a feature perspective oh there we go again so yeah not not the best hold as you can see on that but anyway really the last thing from a main feature perspective um, besides these tanks which you can you can kind of move but that's not really that much of a feature is sort of the main sort of upper head portion we have a clear sort of dome that comes over here and we can just lift that up it's on ratcheting joints in here you can get access to kind of the head of the robot which can move up and down independently but if you want to take this out um, something interesting is that there's actually a two by two space in there with kind of a backrest and I'm pretty sure you guys know what this means is that I'm going to go totally not reach over into my minifigure drawer and grab a clone trooper and seat him down in there to see if you can fit a minifigure in this 
little spot and it doesn't look like you really can unfortunately you'd probably have to lower this down a bit more and put a four long axle with stop in there um, because it has a five long axle in the set the way it comes but you know it, it was a cool little thought um, I don't know if that was intentional or not but yeah so you can almost see a figure in there I'm sure that if you had maybe a shorter figure then it would work but yes yeah, so that's it for this build overall as far as this build is concerned um, I really don't have that many problems with it the ratcheting joints are kind of a little bit annoying on all the limbs and I would have preferred to see ball joints where possible like where the legs meet down here to the feet that would have been cool to see also it would have been nice to get a bit of a better grip for various things on this arm but other than that I don't really have too many complaints about this you know this this is kind of lacking but what are you what are you gonna do so overall this is not a bad build at all um, so now I'm going to off-camera build the second build of this set really just to shorten the review down a lot and then we'll take a look at that alright so here are the extra pieces from the second model as you can see quite a bit more than the first model all of the extra pieces on the first model are also in this pile so take note of that and just one note I'll make really quickly is that these two pieces they are technically included on the model but they're not attached to anything so that's why they're here but really these are all of the pieces that are unused in the build which is quite a large pile maybe maybe around a quarter somewhere between a quarter and half of the pieces I'd say um, I didn't count so that's just a rough estimate so somewhat I believe somewhere around a quarter and a half of the pieces in this set are in this pile probably closer to a quarter though maybe even a bit under that but qu still quite a large number of unused pieces and as far as the building experience went it was pretty simple it was a lot shorter because the build was a lot smaller but it's still a pretty simple building experience so now let's take a look at the build from this set alright so the second model only really has one small build and that's this little thing here which is very similar to the build from the first model which is just seaweed and the sand and the two pieces of gold so really really nothing super crazy about this um, the more interesting stuff is the actual build itself so here it is it's kind of a submarine sort of thing that's what it's got going on here um, so we'll take a look at it from some of its different angles really get a feel for what's going on here and then we will take a look at its various features of which there are not many but there are some so starting out here in the front with sort of these arms is that these both these arms have two points of articulation you have a ball joint in whatever hand area connection between the limb and the hand and then you have one of these ratcheting joints when it where it connects back to the submarine and that's the same for both of these and really all the action that you get out of these is moving the claw on whichever hand you decide to use so you have two different ones and I'm assuming that you're supposed to do kind of a similar thing here but really it's just not as as easy to really grab anything um, just due to there only being two points of articulation or really two points of pressure that you can apply most of the time if you try to grab something it will just move out of your reach even if you do it slowly as you can see here it just gets pushed away and you know there's just a farther distance to do it here and just even less room so yeah not really great for picking stuff up either um, as far as the other stuff goes, um, kind of unintentional, I believe, is that you can rotate the sort of engine in the back just because of how they built it. But, you know, that's interesting, but I don't necessarily believe that was an intentional feature. And kind of the last main thing that you have here is opening up the sort of cockpit of your little deep sea explorer, which appears to have a minifigure spot in it. So let's see if I can fit a figure. I'm totally, again, not reaching and grabbing a clone trooper. So here we have our minifigure to test out whether or not this submarine can actually see the figure in it. And if we take off the clone trooper's helmet, you can fit him in. I don't think he'll fit in with his helmet very well, um, unfortunately. Yeah, so it doesn't look like it's really a helmet vehicle. You could probably try to squeeze it on or something. We'll, we'll try to seat him down with the helmet on. I guess if you really, really get him in there, you can get his helmet on there, and then you can close up this little thing here. And then you have your figure in here. So, very cool that this works with a figure. 
Um, I was a bit disappointed that the actual underwater robot didn't really work out with a figure very well, but it's very nice to see some figure integration in this build here. Um, as far as things go, that's really all the main features that you have in this. As far as things that I, I really like about this, you know, it's it's probably the most realistic of all of these sorts of builds. I mean, the underwater robot's not the most realistic thing. The next one we're going to look at seems to be kind of realistic, but... And again, this seems just to be the most realistic, and it also is pretty pretty versatile with what you've got here. You've got two arms which can grab stuff not very effectively, and sometimes if you're not careful you can make the fingers come off. But, you know, they can't grab stuff very well, but they can grab stuff. You have a nice little bit of articulation in these limbs. And, you know, you've got a little spot to grab from the back on the engine, and you can kind of swoosh this thing around, you know, if you wanted to. It's... It's not the most comfortable thing. There's not really a preferred spot to really grab this thing. I guess maybe you could try right here, but you don't really have a great grip on it. So not really a great spot to grab it, but, you know, I'd try the engine. because It's pretty stable. It's held on with an axle, so you got a lot of stability from there, and then you can kind of go deep sea diving for whatever you want. But overall, that's the second build. I'd definitely say this build is weaker than the first build not only due to the large number of pieces that it neglects to use but also due to really it having less effective play features and possibly even having less play features less limbs and less articulation and stuff like that but overall not really a terrible build just a bit overshadowed by the primary build so now I'm once again going to take apart this build and build the third and final build from this set alright so here are all of the extra pieces after completing the third build of this set so as you can see quite a few extra pieces. I would probably guess this is somewhere around half of the total number of pieces in the set. So not necessarily great as far as a parts usage goes and I would not be surprised if all of the extra pieces from the first model were in here as well. But with that out of the way, the building experience was a lot, was at least felt like it was a lot shorter than the other two builds and I didn't really struggle to find any pieces. So with that out of the way, now let's take a look at the third and final build that this set offers. Alright, so here's the first of the two builds in this sort of build. This is the smaller one. As you can see, it's kind of just like some sort of rock thing with some gold pieces on it. Not really anything super crazy, but it's kind of nice to get a break from all the sand and seaweed that we've gotten with these gold pieces in the other two builds. Um, but as far as the main build goes from this one, here you go. This is what you were going to build if you decide to build the third build. So let's just take a look at it from some different angles real quick and then we'll take a look at this build itself and see what it has to offer from really a play perspective. Kind of the first thing are the sort of supporting legs which you do have one point of articulation on each of them so you can move all of those around to get some interesting poses and le leveling for this thing. Um, so that's that's pretty good to have a nice little bit of extra leveling there but you know not the most not the most articulation ever you can't really get very many crazy poses out of this thing because you can lift one leg up but pretty much after that no matter which leg you lift up you start to really lose support so you can't really do a whole lot of crazy posing with this set so that kind of sucks but moving on to the top you'll notice that the whole top part of this sort of little excavation thing is on a turntable so you can rotate it independent from the base which is good so that you can access things from multiple different directions and then you also do have this huge arm out in the front which can move this actually has two points of articulation being the one connecting it to the body of the machine and the one connecting it to the hand so you can move all of these independently but you are kind of constrained by these large tubes that go back into sort of these tanks here um, so that that's not really great for movement as far as picking up the little thing that you get in this set if you want to you probably are going to have to move closer and if you move this down you could probably get it if you come at it like this would not surprise me if you could easily grab it this way and I'm sure that if I really forced it in there which that didn't necessarily work but I'm sure that if you really force it you can get it just drop down on it and then just lock in each of those teeth so everything's nice and secure and lift up again and there you go you can pick up that little thing which is actually nice and this is a bit better picking up stuff than the second build which I like because that's kind of one of the main 
main features of all of the builds in this set are at least supposed to be. So that's that's interesting. And then kind of the last main thing that you have here are these lights. Um, they move up and down pretty simple. And right below them you have probably one of the bigger things that this allows you to do is you can see a figure in there theoretically. So here we have our clone trooper and we're going to just try to seat him down in here. And he does fit quite nicely in there. His helmet does come up a bit, not the back, as you can see. But you can have your clone trooper controlling this underwater excavation thing, or whatever figure you choose. So, there you go. Um, obviously, clone trooper not included in this set. This set does not have any minifigures. So, that is pretty much the entire set. All three builds that you can make with this thing. And really, um, I think that as far as all these builds go, the first one is definitely the strongest. This is probably the weakest of the three, which is the third build, so it kind of makes sense. And the second build is probably the middle middle tier of all of these sorts of builds. But definitely, um, I would recommend building the first build if you can only build one of these. But, you know, maybe check out these other ones if you're interested. As far as value goes, this is a 207 piece set which retails for $20 in the United States. You do have a few large pieces in here too, you don't have a figure, so I'd say that for 20 bucks this is a fair price. And what you get here is definitely probably worth it. You do have this nice clear dome piece and you do get three of those large tubes as well as a bunch of other smaller pieces which are a bit more specialized and some medium sized pieces too. So as far as value for money goes, this is not a bad offering. And overall, not not really a bad set. Kind of one of the things that all the creator 3-in-1 sets suffer from, in my opinion, at least some of the more recent ones, is that you have the first build, which uses pretty much all the pieces and is a really good build, and then you kind of have this drop in quality of the builds for the other two builds, which, you know, it's nice that they give you two more builds, but they're, they're, they're just so, so much less in quality compared to the first one that it's like, I don't even know sometimes why you'd build some of these but it, it you know it's the thought that counts and I'm sure that if you just have these pieces and, and you can probably build something using all of them that might even be better than the other two builds which I'm sure is why they throw in these two extra builds is to really get the noggin jog and to make something creative up with all these pieces that you've got here but obviously if you have a bunch of other Lego you can add some stuff from your collection in to really supplement that but this is a nice little starting place to build some underwater sort of mechs and maybe some submarines and stuff like that so overall um, as far as this set is concerned not a bad set in my opinion first build definitely does take the cake out of all of these and is actually pretty decent doesn't have much of a, of a play feature though besides articulation which is kind of kind of meh but it it's just such a better build compared to both these other two la last builds that it's really the only thing the set's got going for it so really not a bad set definitely I do like the underwater robot but this set doesn't really stand out to me in any particular way it's a nice little concept to have an underwater robot and I definitely like the first build in this set and what they did with that but Really, the other two builds in this set don't stand out much at all, and really the only one that I see any purpose in building. Besides maybe the submarine, if you want something a bit more realistic for your LEGO city or whatnot, is the underwater robot, because that's just such a better, more substantial build compared to these other two. But that's going to conclude my review on the 31090 underwater robot set. Let me know what you guys think of this set down in the comment section below. Do you have this set? Do you agree with my sort of ranking of these builds? Anything at all, let me know in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.